Hey lovelies, welcome back to another Sims 4 tutorial. In this video I'm showing you how to use the tool mod by Tristed Maxi. Tool stands for take objects of lot and this pretty much explains the main function of this mod. You can place objects outside lots but there are many other amazing functions. For example I'm going to show you how to create some four round rooms, how you can tilt objects and so much more so let's dive right in. I'm going to very quickly explain how to download and install the mod in case you have no idea. In case you know all about that already, I have included timestamps in the pinned comment so you can just jump ahead in the video. So I have put the link to Twisted Maxi's Patreon in the description box and you just open the link of course and then you scroll down and then you simply download these two files here, the package and the script files. These files are free, so just in case you are wondering because they are on his Patreon, they are free to download for everyone. So you simply click on these two files, you then switch to your download folder, you copy these two files and then you just place them into your mod folder. The path to your mod folder is usually documents, electronic arts, the Sims 4 mods, and then you just, you just paste them there and that's it. You also want to make sure that you go to game options and other, and here you can see enable custom content and mods and script mods allowed. So make sure that both checkboxes are checked and then you just have to restart your game and you are good to go. First I'm going to show you how to build round rooms using windows and the tool mod. So usually we are not able to rotate windows like that, that's not possible, you cannot rotate them freely, but with this mod it's finally possible. It might seem a bit tricky at first, but it's really not. I'm going to just explain you the whole system behind this and how it works, just like I always do, because I don't want you guys to just follow certain numbers that you can enter into the mod. I really want you to understand how it works, so you can just use it for all kinds of different things, just like for the edit tutorial. I didn't just want you to show you how to replicate what I'm building. I wanted you to understand how it works, so you can build any type of attic and this is kind of the same here so let's go. As we all know a circle has 360 degrees and the tool mod is based on exactly this system and uses these numbers. So the numbers you enter are degrees. When placing an object, let's say a window, its position is our starting point and it technically has zero degrees. Now we can enter any number from 1 to 359 to rotate it. 360 would be the same as 0 and the object wouldn't move. Example, when we enter numbers from 1 to 90, we can create a round shape which is a quarter circle for example. So this all makes sense and it's basic math, but with the tool mod our starting point would be at the bottom center of this graphic. The numbers I added in blue and red are the actual numbers we enter into the tool mod. Each number is a value for a different window, so each number here represents a window. When we enter positive numbers, just like I did here from 0 to 90, the windows follow the curve of the circle to the right and the red negative numbers do the opposite. But let's take a look in game so I can show you how and where to enter these numbers and what's going on here. Because first I was talking about numbers from 0 to 360 and now I'm talking about negative numbers. So what's going on here? Believe me, it's really simple. So here I've built this and this window here would be my 0. This window is the starting point. So you simply place your window wherever you want it. It doesn't matter into which direction it's facing. This is the starting point. And this window here would be the 10. And this window here would be the 20, 30, 40, 50. And into this direction we are going into negative numbers. Technically, I don't have to use negative numbers. I could start over here and I could place one window after another and I could work my way all around here, even here where I haven't built any windows. And I could just go around here and I could keep going until I reach the 359 over here. So I would have a perfect circle. But I can also enter negative numbers, which makes it much easier because you just have your starting point. I'm going to show this over here. So this is my starting point and then I place a couple of windows. Then you want to switch into lift mode 
and then you click on your window holding down shift and then you can see the tool here if you don't see tool something went wrong while installing the mod and you have to figure out what's going on you can also leave a comment so i can help you and then you click on tool and then we click on rotate and here I can now enter my numbers and I can also enter negative numbers as I've already told you, which is why it's telling you minus 360 or 360. So now I'm just going to enter my 10 just as I've told you. And this is what's happening. And now I'm going to do the same over here and here I'm entering minus 10. This way I'm making sure that it's completely symmetrical and I can work out a round shape. So this is just the center and just as I've shown you here, it's curving into this and this direction. I think that this is really, really easy and I can recommend just doing it this way. And now I'm entering 20 and over here I'm entering minus 20 because once again, I want this to be symmetrical. Now I'm switching into build mode and now I have to change the position of these windows. And what I do is I hold down Alt on my keyboard and I simply move the window over here. I'm doing the same with this one. So I have a nice curved shape. Make sure that you've activated the move objects cheat so this all works. So these windows can actually touch and slightly merge into each other. And then you can just keep going. You don't have to enter 10, 20, 30. You don't have to go in these steps. You could also have a more aggressive curve going on. I'm going to show this to you. I like to place my windows like this. So I already kind of simulate the curved shape. So I it's just it's just simple you just don't lose the overview and you know what's going on so let's say i just enter 30 here and then i enter 60 i always like to double the numbers 60 and over here i'm doing the same just minus so it's minus 30 and minus 60. again i'm switching into lift mode i'm holding down alt on my keyboard and then I can place them like this. But as you can tell, the more aggressive your curve, it just looks more angular. It doesn't look as smooth, but you could also do it like this. So over here, I used some bigger windows. So you don't have to count by tens. It depends on the curve you're going for. And it also depends on the window you're using. Over here, for example, I used these smaller windows. But as you can see, this whole round area is much smaller than over here because I used this round floppies. So over here, I used 15 as the number. So I ran 15, 30, 54, and so on. And I want to say one last thing thing about the whole starting point thing and about the round shape so this is the starting point and as i've told you you just work your way up into this in that direction but you could also go over here and this could be your new starting point you've reached 90 degrees over here and you could simply start all over again so i could now simply enter 10 into my tool mod and then I could keep going until I reach 90 degrees again. So this would be over here. So you can just work in quarters if you want to, which is also where I've shown you this graphic earlier, where I've shown you the numbers. So this is also a very simple way to do this. You just start, you work your way up over here. And then once you have reached 90 degrees, you do the next quarter and you can just use different numbers, as I've said, depending on how curved you want your room to be or not to be. And over here, I've used the round floor piece and you could just add a room on top. If you want to do that, you can just build a room in the center. Then use a foundation piece. I like to use this one, the one with the fence already attached to it. And then I make it smaller on both sides. I use the sledgehammer tool. I hover over here until it's yellow. Then I move the sledgehammer tool and this way I can delete the fence. And now when I copy this piece of foundation, I can merge it into a perfect half circle. And now I could simply place it on top here, for example. So now you can see that this is a really simple way to just have a room like this. You could use it to create a sunroom, for example. So you could now simply delete this room that 
the F build here. You could just attach a whole house to this or you just build the house first and then you do it like this. And there are many different ways of using this. You could also use it for some type of greenhouse, for example. And yeah, if you have any questions about this, leave a comment down below. And now we are going to talk about the other functions this mod has. So I have placed an armchair and I'm going to show you the other options this mod has. So first we are going to take a look at rotate again because there are some other options. So here we can click on change axis and here in the back you can already see this green line and this is the indicator of your axis. So when I now enter 10 for example it's going into this direction. I can also hold on shift click on the ground click on tool options and undo and this way I can undo something. And now I'm clicking on rotate again. I click on change axis. I click on rotate again. And here you can see the axis in the background once again. So now the axis has changed. I'm going to enter a number and now this is happening. So now it's rotating the way we rotated the windows and I'm going to do it one last time. I'm changing the axis. I click on rotate and now I can tilt it to the side. Now this is amazing. You can create cluttered rooms with this, all kinds of different things. You can use huge objects to just rotate them so you can place them on the exterior. For example, you can be really creative with this. I'm going to undo this. And now we are going to take a look at the elevate function. Now I enter a number one, for example, and it's floating. But what I can also do is I enter a negative number. In this case, I'm going to enter minus 1.5. And then I can move objects down into the ground. You can use this for all kinds of different things, but I like to use it in case an object is not going where it's supposed to go. So it kind of sits on the terrain, for example, then I just move it down a little bit and it's just perfect. I love this function so much. And last but not least, let's talk about move and toggle active object. So I think that the toggle active object function is superior to the move function. So you can click on move and then you can enter a number and this way you can just move an object. So let's say I would enter this. Now it's moving like this. You have a Y and an X axis and you can move object. But I think that this is tedious and not the best option to move something because we can also move objects of lot. This is what the name of this mod is all about. So we are simply going to use the toggle active object function. So I click on toggle active object and now my object is green, which means that it's selected. And now I go over here, for example, this is not my lot anymore. I hold on shift, I click on the ground tool options, and then I click on move active object here. I click on my object again. I select toggle active object and here it is. Now I have my chair over here, which is the coolest thing ever and it's working. So you could use this to place some debug cars in the street to just decorate the area. You could place some objects behind your lot for a screenshot, for example. And I think that this is much easier than using the move function. You can just click on an area and you can move your object over here. And it's even functional. This looks funny. We just have a armchair in the streets, but this is what you can do with this mod. And this is just amazing. And there you have it. These are the functions of Twisted Maxi's tool mod. A truly amazing mod. Thank you to Twisted Maxi for blessing us with this mod. It has changed building for me a lot. And the best thing is when you are using this mod, your builds will still be listed as unmodded in the gallery and people can still use your build. It's unmodded. They don't need the mod and the objects are still the way you place them using this mod. And this is it guys. Thank you so much for watching. You can find the download link to Tristop Maxi's mod down below in the description box. I hope you have a perfect day and I hope I see you in the next video. Bye bye.